Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings and this is going to be a love message for you guys. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you guys. Okay, what's happening between them and their person? Keep in mind that this is not any sign specific. Um, this is a general collective love reading, so it may or may not be your story. Uh, you can watch your individual signs. All of them are uploaded on my channel along with the extended versions talking about your parson for all signs okay you can check those out it will be linked in the description box of the vimeo about your parson for your sign okay i've also done 2021 forecast so you can watch that reading as well if you're interested let's see what do we have for you guys in case this reading resonates there is going to be a link in the description box to the extended version of this so yeah you can watch if you like in the extended i'm gonna clarify more for the person you're connecting with how are they thinking feeling about you their next moves towards you outcome of the situation for you advice oracle messages love notes messages from the universe what does your person want to say and where is this relationship going i'm also going to pick out general life update for you so do check that reading out let's see now in this reading i'm also going to be picking out channeled messages from your person along with other oracles so stick around till the end for that one okay let's see getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so what i'm getting here is that um right now um some of you have a new person okay there could be this curiosity about opening up to a new person here okay or if you're completely single i'm getting that you are thinking about you know opening up to love again but to me it looks like you are very interested in keeping your options open now or some of you already are communicating with somebody new we also have trust um now one thing i am getting here is that you have a hard time trusting okay due to your past experiences in love I feel like um, you, in your past connection, you probably felt uh, stabbed in the back, okay? Which is why right now you have a hard time um, completely, you know, um, being vulnerable to a new person. But we will see. With that trust energy, I feel like um, there is going to be somebody new coming your way. You need to have faith and trust. Um, okay, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Somebody here has issues, um, emotional issues here, okay, that are stemming from either their childhood or abusive parent or something that has been developed later on in the, you know, adult life. Um, now, you may have, um, yeah, sometimes... So with this energy, sometimes we bond with the person um, because we have codependency issues. So maybe in the past, like I said, uh, you dealt with somebody where you felt like you got stabbed in the back. However, you wanted to give this person a chance over another chance over another chance um, until you completely felt like, no, it's not working out. So to me, it looks like you have recognized that, you know, it's not going to work out unless this person um i do not know like unless this person does what well. <laughs> because i think you have done all you could to save the situation but i'm not entirely sure about the person you're connecting with let's get a card about the person you're connecting with right now i feel like you're going through a journey you're going through an emotional journey here deception is the card for your person someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship so what I'm getting here is that this person is very deceptive. Um, you maybe were the one who was carrying all the weight in the relationship to pursue, to do this, to do that, you know. Um, 
and I feel like yes you were over giving in this situation but you were hoping to change this person okay which of course you couldn't one thing I'm also getting is that you never knew about this person's true feelings for you uh, but the good thing that I see here is that now um, you are recognizing that you know there is something wrong here and there's something that needs to be fixed so yeah you're recognizing the toxicity of a situation i'm also getting that some of you are ready to cut out people you know from their life whether that be a lover a friend or anybody else okay Now, another storyline I'm getting here is that if you're connecting with somebody new uh, and you're watching this reading, this person's not really showing up what they truly, you know, they're not showing up as the person who they truly are. So they're keeping a lot to themselves. They're keeping secrets from you if you are dating somebody new or talking to somebody new, okay? If not, this message is about the past person not being honest. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to take this one. We've got the sun energy, which is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I feel like some of you are opening up to love. You're opening up to the possibility of love again. Um... I'm also seeing a child here. Maybe somebody has a child. But what I'm getting here is that there is a sense of victory here. Strength. Major Leo energy. So you could be a Leo or you could be connecting with somebody who is a Leo. Now, what I'm getting here is that... Um, I'm seeing you very open to love. I'm seeing you very open to receive. I'm seeing you very open to experience new things in life, okay? Maybe you are starting something new with your business. You know, you're starting a new job, exploring when it comes to your hobbies. I also feel like there is a big confidence boost here. But at times, um, yes, I feel like you have gotten stronger uh, than before, but it's not permanent still. So you still have got a long way to go if this is a journey to yourself, you know, um, love and feeling good within yourself. Because what I'm getting here is that um, you do feel good about yourself, but then, you know, 10 minutes later, you're like having low confidence issues. So I see confidence issue here. I see a boost in the confidence and then you're feeling low, then you're feeling you know, high confidence, then you're feeling low. So there is something going on here with your mood, with the way you're feeling about yourself, okay? Look at that, Seven of Swords, the Tower, and the Empress. You're trying your best to get over this person. You could be connecting with a Libra, a Leo, Scorpio, Aries. Uh, what I'm seeing here is that... Um, you're taking it one day at a time, which is perfectly fine, right? You're healing. You are working towards your happiness. Um, somebody was majorly deceptive towards you with that Seven of Swords energy and the deception energy here. Okay. It's too much deception, lies going on. Too much of that game playing energy um, going on here. I feel like um, when you were dealing with this person, you subconsciously knew that it's this person's not good for you or you're never going to get to have a happy ending here. However, you still were holding on. And it proved to be a disaster here with the tower and the empress energy. I'm also getting that something has drastically changed in your life in the past um, I would say overall I'm getting six months, but it could be three to four months as well. There is something that has drastically changed here and something has encouraged you to work on yourself. So maybe, um, you know, you are um, reading lots of books about self-help or you are, you know, taking courses because I see you learning new things. I see you building, um, you know, your future. 
stronger you and also working on your finances okay right now i feel like you are prioritizing your growth your stability in life okay and for some of you it was that wake up call that you've had okay i do not know when that moment happened happened but what i'm getting here is that you have um, you've had a wake up call okay that i deserve better uh, i do not deserve to be treated like this okay which is why i said healing family issues you are working on yourself, which is good. Let's get some of your Parsons energy. Let's get your Parsons energy. Yeah, I'm getting that this Parson is the one who... Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So this Parson is the one who walked away from you. Okay, this person is the one who um, yeah, this person's the one who walked away here. However, right now they're wanting to clarify things. they're wanting to come forward and express. okay? I see communication happening here for you. Okay. This could be a Libra, a Gemini or an Aquarius that you're connecting with. One more thing I'm getting here is that this person feels um, like you were offering them a law, okay? And they were not seeing that at that time. Um, however, there's another thing I'm getting here about this person is that they tend to change their mind a whole lot. So just be careful with that. They're definitely going to try to clarify things with you with that Ace of Swords energy. They're going to communicate with you. They're going to talk to you. They may even, you know, um, apologize for some of you. When it comes to the, you know, to the apology pop, this apology, I really don't think that it's happening for everybody. <laughs> okay, so don't leave a comment saying, no, they they're not going to apologize of course um not everybody is going to get an apology but the thing here is that this person is recognizing that you were actually offering them a law than anybody else has offered them so this is that recognition of okay you know maybe you know this person was really nice and i wasn't being nice look at that I feel like this person walked away from you. I'm getting a very, very strong vibe that you got the hint that they do not want you anymore. And they gave you the hint actually several times, which is why I said you were trying to save the situation with them, but they kept giving you hints that, you know, it's done, it's over. And they kept ignoring you. Uh, for some of you, they even ignored you to a point where you felt like you were non-existent in their life. You would see them on social media having fun perhaps. Right now, I feel like this person um, is going to appear back in your life. But are they serious or not? That is the question, actually. But one thing I keep getting is that this person is the one who surely made it clear that they do not want you by either ignoring you or actually saying that they don't want you, okay? Ghosting, deleting, blocking. And now that you're giving up, now that you're working on yourself, this person wants to appear back in your life. King of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Hangman. Yeah, this is uh, surely a return of a past person. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm also seeing that in the future, you are going to meet somebody who is going to see you as um, their um, wife or a husband, okay? Uh, I'm seeing that there is commitment for you in the future. There's a past person coming in for you very strongly. So we've got the King of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Hangman energy. What I'm getting here for you is that um, for this person, actually... This person really um, thinks highly of themselves, okay? Whoever this person is who walked away from you. They definitely have ego issues, okay? And it looks like they also focus a lot on their money. 
uh, or they actually prioritize materialistic things. Okay. I really don't think that this person has done the, you know, some inner healing work because they're seeming quite superficial. You are not. You're, you're seeming to be more emotionally intelligent here. Um, now, yes, there is a return of a past person, okay? They miss you. They actually miss the memories you've had with them. But at times, they're too stubborn to admit what place you hold in their life, okay? So this person is going through a realization here that you, you know, <clears throat> you were someone special. But they haven't got the balls, I'm going to say, they haven't got the balls to accept it. Um, hangman. I do not know why this person is so slow. Okay. It looks like they admire you, but they're so slow to take an action towards you that by the time they actually make up their mind, you might have moved, you know, you might decide to move on. Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So I feel like um, this is uh, somebody who is now seeing you as their divine counterpart, actually. Okay. Now, this reading is giving me two messages. A, it's giving me a message that this person is viewing you as somebody special. B, this reading is giving me a message that um, actually, if you hold on to your standards, if you uh, love, but love yourself as well, there is somebody much better out there for you. And I feel like lots of you uh, have to go through this uh, journey, okay? You have to uh, wake up to what you deserve and what you don't deserve. But let's clarify, actually. What is this um, Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles about? Nine of Swords and the Three of Swords. Looks like somebody's having... A heartbreak here or somebody's feeling heavy in their energy all right this looks like a past person's energy maybe there was a love triangle here oh now i understand okay it's probably a love triangle that you know we've, we're getting so many cold cards here um all right maybe there was involvement of a third party here okay very strong involvement and that really broke your heart. It really gave you a tough time to get over this person when you found out that they were maybe cheating on you or they had somebody else in their life. Um, this person won't stop keeping their options open, but right now they are viewing you in a very different light. So if they had a third party, no. They're not having a good time over there, believe me. What is the advice? What is the advice? Four of Swords. All right. So you've been through a lot already. The advice for you is to think before you make a move. Okay. When this person returns, think before you make a move. Because I'm actually going to clarify in the extended where is this relationship headed towards and what is the potential here of having a future with this person and what are their true feelings for you. So do check that reading out. It will be in the description box. But for now, it looks like you know how this person treated you and you know how this relationship went. So collecting all that data, okay, you have to make your own decision. At this time, you cannot be looking around, looking at your friends or calling your friends, asking for their opinions because I feel like you've already went through a law and it was for a reason. It was to wake you up, actually. So if you still haven't woken up, then you can go back to this person and get heartbroken again. Now, for some of you, if you are, I'm calling you out, come on. It's, I think it's fine. It's not always like butterflies and stuff. Um, now, for some of you, I feel like, yeah, if, um, if you are interested in having a good time, just a good time, then you can go back. But <laughs> you know what I mean? But if, you, if you're not like that, then don't because they are not seeming serious about you. Yes, they are viewing you in this light. Yes, they see you as the one for them, but 
are they vocal about it are they taking action towards it are they proposing you are they asking you to be with them no because they probably have somebody else in their life their attention is too scattered right now actually let's see channeled messages from their person do check out the link in the description box it's going to take you to the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connected connecting with how is this person thinking feeling about you their next moves towards you outcome of the situation between the two of you advice oracle messages love notes what is the divine guidance for you what is the potential uh, of you know having a future here and any further guidance that you may need okay so do check that reading out i'm going to be linking it below i want to tell you how i feel marriage maybe marriage was involved maybe this person's married or you were married to them or you found out that they were married so marriage could be involved in some way here uh, i am afraid of rejection and then i'm finding myself so what i'm seeing here is that this person yes their ego i told you in the beginning that this person is very stubborn and their ego gets in the way so they are afraid of rejection okay which is why things are getting delayed I feel like this person is definitely contemplating about this connection. They're definitely thinking about it and viewing it in a different light. But they do need time. If you want this person to be with you for a long term, you have to be willing to give this person years to do the work or even months if they're willing. But I really don't think I really don't think that this person is like that because I'm really picking up on an energy of somebody being very superficial. And, you know, they're having their um, attention all over the place. And then they're afraid of rejection. So this person is very, very emotionally immature. But as far as, you know, communication is concerned, yes, they will say something. They will hit you up. Going back or not is your own choice. What messages? What messages? Play, have fun, celebrate, and don't be so serious. So I feel like the universe is telling you to have fun. The universe is telling you to keep your options open, perhaps, um, and see what you know what happens next. Because I feel like some of you are trying to control the outcome way too much that you don't even know where is it going. Okay, so just have fun. Some of you are taking things way too seriously. Perhaps you're working a lot. You are. Uh, literally uh, using work as a way to cope with the pain that you may be feeling but have more fun and let go ease up a little bit I feel like that is your message so that's about it those were the messages that popped out for you um, if you got something out of this reading give it a like and subscribe to my channel when you subscribe hit that bell icon so you're notified um, whenever I upload the link to the extended is going to be in the description box for you guys um so do check it out for further guidance if you want you can also check out your individual signs um on my channel and you know if you want to know about how is your person feeling according to your own individual sign that link will also be in the description box so yeah that's it take care and bye, -bye.